Yellowstone on the verge of collapse? Scientists race to decode the mystery beneath the supervolcano. Yellowstone National Park, November 2025. A new wave of scientific concern has surged across the geological community after unprecedented data revealed hundreds of thousands of micro-earthquakes hidden beneath the Yellowstone caldera. These quakes, many too small to be felt, others too deep to be detected until now cluster beneath Steamboat Geyser, Norris Geyser Basin, and Old Faithful, forming one of the most complex underground signals ever seen beneath the supervolcano. For years, researchers believed they understood Yellowstone's seismic behavior. Regular swarms triggered by hydrothermal fluids, seasonal changes, and the slow breathing of the caldera. But in 2025, as machine learning reanalysis of seismic recordings uncovered a staggering amount of previously unseen activity, a new question has emerged. Is something massive stirring beneath Yellowstone something scientists may have missed for decades? A web of earthquakes hidden in the dark. In mid-2025, a consortium of universities and government agencies use new algorithms capable of detecting quakes a thousand times smaller than standard seismic equipment can recognize. The result shocked even veteran geologists. Over 260,000 previously undetected quakes were found beneath Yellowstone between 2008 and 2024. Many of these occurred in bursts beneath the geyser basins. The swarms formed deep vertical columns suggesting fluid, heat, or pressure rising from depth. What startled scientists most was their distribution. The densest clusters appeared beneath the most active hydrothermal systems. Steamboat, Old Faithful, Norris, they're all sitting on top of something incredibly dynamic, said Dr. Andrea Lewis, a volcanologist working with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. These aren't random jitters, something is driving them. The Geyser Triangle, a warning zone? Yellowstone's three most iconic geyser regions form what some researchers now call the Geyser Triangle a triangular zone where seismic noise, heat flow, and hydrothermal explosions are unusually frequent. Steamboat Geyser? The world's tallest geyser, Steamboat, entered an explosive period starting in 2018. Bursting more often than any time in history, its eruptions were accompanied by sudden tremors beneath the hydrothermal system. New data now shows that many of these tremors were part of deeper, unseen seismic cascades. Norris Geyser Basin The hottest and most unstable thermal area In 2020, a newly discovered thermal field active beneath Norris caused the ground to rise by 5-7 centimeters before suddenly subsiding a movement now believed to have been connected to the deep microquakes. Old Faithful Once reliable to the minute, Old Faithful's eruption intervals have grown increasingly irregular. Seismic reanalysis shows hidden earthquakes pulsing beneath the geyser months before each slowdown or disruption. Together, these anomalies point toward a large-scale reorganization of fluids and heat beneath the caldera, possibly the largest in decades. A new player emerges, the magma cap. In April 2025, researchers identified a magma cap, a partially molten, volatile rich layer sitting roughly 3.54 kilometers beneath the surface. This cap may behave like a lid, trapping gases and pressure beneath it. 
Normally, such a structure might reduce the chance of a large eruption by allowing gases to escape in tiny pulses. But if the cap begins to fracture due to stress, uplift, or intense hydrothermal movement, pressure could escalate quickly. Think of it like cracking the top of a pressure cooker, explained Dr. Marlon Sierra, a geophysicist at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. If that cap ruptures unevenly, it could trigger cascading pressure failures, steam explosions, hydrothermal blasts, or in the worst scenario, a magma-driven event. Ground uplift, the silent signal. Satellite measurements in 2025 revealed sporadic patches of uplift, small in height, but significant in pattern. Uplift near Norris Geyser Basin. Uplift near the south rim of the caldera. Uplift in a narrow band stretching toward Old Faithful. None of these were dramatic enough to imply an imminent eruption. But the fact that they are happening simultaneously and in regions now known to contain dense microquake clusters has put scientists on alert. It's not that the ground rose, Lewis explained. It's where, when, and how it rose. Hidden plumbing, water, gas, and magma in motion. The most likely explanation for these linked phenomena is fluid movement, superheated water, and gas migrating through unstable rock layers. Deep beneath Yellowstone, magma slowly cools and crystallizes. This process squeezes out water, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and other volatiles. If these fluids collect beneath the magma cap, pressure builds. If they migrate upward, they can trigger earthquakes and heat surges in the hydrothermal system. Under normal conditions, this pressure slowly vents through geysers and fumaroles. But if the plumbing system becomes blocked or overwhelmed, pressure can reach catastrophic levels. In the past 15,000 years, Yellowstone has experienced more than a dozen hydrothermal explosion craters, some large enough to obliterate entire forests. A modern version of such an event, even a moderate one, could devastate parts of the park and cause ash clouds visible across multiple states, 